Hi, everybody. This is Lucia from Blaine Crawford, and I'm so excited to be here with you today to introduce you to Carita Cosa, the founder of Pure Earth, one of our latest additions into Lane Crawford. Hi, Carita. Hello. Thank you so much. And very excited for this masterclass. It's an honor for us. And likewise, are we all ready? Yes, super excited. Um, and first, let's start with your story. How did you sure. start this beautiful brand? Uh, how has the journey been? So, you know, I mean, you know, I'm a lawyer. Uh, I hung up my boots because I think at heart, I've always been an earth child and a tree hugger. So it was just natural, I think, when my children grew up for me to come back into my element and mm. do what I love the most. And I studied Ayurveda in 2011. Uh, 2001, not realizing how valuable it would be for me, you know, when it mm -hmm. comes to formulations and pharmacognosy of plants and everything. So here I am with the brand. And of course, it's 100% natural. Um, you know, we, um, it, Pure Earth is established as a social enterprise. Mm -hmm. So our community is really at the heart of the cornerstone of everything yes. that we do. Yes, yes. I love the brand values. I mean, but that it's natural, you know, organic. Well crafted as well, right? So well crafted. So it's a brand from the Himalayas. Okay. Uh, that's why we say it's born in the Himalayas because I have this very deep connection. And you know, the Himalayas are home to what in Indian mythology we say, we say the gods, you know. Mm. Uh, it's just so mysterious and mystical and you know, so pristine. So a lot of our botanicals are from the wild, sustainably harvested, mm -hmm. providing income generation to local indigenous people mm -hmm. and honestly you know if you even compare say sea uh the vitamin c or the esters in it and and the potency of something that comes from here yeah. as opposed to somewhere else it's like you know off the charts so it's okay. a beautiful it's a beautiful uh, region to be working in and with you know yeah yeah lovely i, I love this story um then today I'd like you to teach us a couple of your uh, secrets. Yes. Uh, we're now going to move to the fun part. The fun um, part. Yes, uh, which is masking. I yeah. personally love masking. Um, we all so, love masking, don't we? Yes. Please it's, share some of your recipes sure, of like sure. home DIY masks. Yes, let's stick right into it. So, okay, so I think everybody knows Mitti. Mitti is my mask. And Mitti actually in Sanskrit and, and, and in the Indian language means the earth. Mm -hmm. mud actually right. mud and so it's an app name for I think for almost any mask which has a detox or you know clay based mask yeah so mitti uh actually I'm going to show you of yeah. course this is this is the mitti you know and uh it is it took me three years and I didn't reverse engineer reverse formulate I just kept working myself you know at it for three years for yeah. it to arrive here and I th this is what you call alchemy you know so this is what it looks like it's just this pudding like molten lava like chocolatey and i love the smell mm. of it you know yeah. it's very herby and so so this is the mitty mask now what is so special about it and we're going to learn how to make it almost okay it is that um it has clays mm -hmm. and you know clays detox they purify they draw out you can I mean, even take and drink bentonite clay because it's going mm -hmm. to attract all, you know, there are positive negative ions. Mm -hmm. So it attracts heavy metal toxins okay. and stuff like that, right? And then you can eliminate it from your body. So can you imagine from your skin, you know, you yeah. can pull out, you can detox. Really yeah, especially detox. during very polluted weather. like Polluted, weather, yeah. yeah. You know, environmental aggressor. So clay is detox. Then we have a lot of antioxidants. We use cacao. Cacao mm -hmm. butter, cacao powder. So cacao, as we all know, you know, it's it's super rich in antioxidants yeah. and free radicals. So as we know, free radicals are a major cause of skin aging. Mm -hmm. So you'll see with one application of this mask how you can actually you get this brightening, you know, result with okay. the mask. And we have, you know, we have um, we have a whole bunch of Ayurvedic herbs. I'll go through a few of them here with you and guys. Honey. And honey, honey is the main ingredient here. Mm -hmm. And our honey is very special because it from, I work with two or three forest regions okay. and the beekeepers there and you know, the, the collectors there. So the honey is forest honey, it's macro filtered. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. Today guys, I'm gonna start with the honey. Why am I starting today? Don't be misled by this. I don't have a honey jar. This is just mm -hmm. one of my tea jars. But 
I was up on the peak in Hong Kong and there was this little stall and they had the most amazing honey. Mm. I can't tell you how beautiful this honey is. On the peak? On the it's peak, there was honey. some, yeah. And it, um, it's local honey. Okay. Local honey and oh, I can't tell you how beautiful it is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to some of the ingredients and then we're going to show you how to mix it. Okay, so of course we all know what honey looks like, but there you go. This truly is very special honey. So we're going to take honey and then of course you need to take a lot of, uh, your base should be clay, okay? So I'm going to take some clay. I love to use Fuller's Earth because again, it's native to the Himalayas. So I'm going to take a bit of clay and you know, the mixing is, is a bit of an art and a science. All right. There's no sort of magic to it. So you'll have to kind of figure it out. No exact uh, measurement. Uh, I typically don't, mm -hmm. but uh, you can put, you can put 50% honey, you can mm -hmm. put 20% clay, then you can put oils and then you can put your Ayurvedic powder. So this is clay. I mean, we all know what clay looks like. So, you know, that's the clay and I am going to put it into the bowl. So I'm going to put a little bit of clay in this, right? And then I am going to put some Ayurvedic herb. Now I want to introduce three maybe to you guys. So let's start with Moringa, one of my favorites. I think Moringa in the last year has become a bit of a darling of the health food industry like turmeric was. And I'm going to introduce you to something that you perhaps have not heard of, but I promise you in a year's time you will. We'll start with Moringa. Where's Moringa originally from? Moringa, I suppose everywhere in the world. I have actually, when you, if you go to my website and you, mm. you read about it, we literally will see every avenue lined with Moringa. Uh, it's, uh, when I was a little child, my grandmother would send me off to outside our courtyard to pick the little magnolia colored flowers in the mm. summer and we'd make a yogurt, uh, uh, nice uh, sort of cooling thing to mm -hmm. eat out of it. So Moringa is, it's like a lovely green. Now, how do I show it to you? It's a very, very beautiful, bright green, you know, like a forest green, leaf green. And Moringa is, you can say it's, it has more uh, protein than eggs. It is full of quercetin, quercetin, silk, mm -hmm. protein, beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. So Moringa is um, also, it's a it's such a fantastic purifier that if you're in a forest, or if you're somewhere and you want to drink clean water, you just need to put Moringa leaves in your water and it'll purify your water. Oh, wow. So Moringa is quite special. Mm -hmm. So that's Moringa. I'm going to put a spoonful of Moringa. All right. And then I'm going to come to the one that I was saying, you will soon be hearing a lot about it, is neem. It's not like green tea yes yes very matcha type right yeah yeah, yeah. it has this very matcha -y kind of even when you drink it as a tea you can drink it as a tea it has a matcha -y aftertaste mm -hmm. so that's moringa moringa is one of my favorites truly you can you really should even drink moringa tea it's so good for your health then the next one is neem neem now what's so special about neem uh neem again in India, you will not be able to turn your neck without seeing a neem tree. Mm. That is how, you know, ubiquitous it is. It's just everywhere. And what a tree. In the Atharva Veda, one of those old ancient Ayurvedic texts, mm -hmm. uh, they mention five sacred plants, only five of the thousands and thousands. And neem is one of them. Uh, neem is called Arishtadevi, which is the healing tree. And every part of the neem. So when I was little, I'm, I'm sure my grandmother, when there was no toothpaste, uh, a neem leaf, a neem twig is what you would use to chew on. Yeah. And with many people in India who cannot afford to, and you know, piercing of your ears is quite a, it's a, um, it's a celebration of feminine, you know, energy. So if you have to pierce your ears and you don't, you know, the poor will use neem twigs oh, okay. because it is antibacterial. Anti antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory. It is fantastic for your skin. It is a known scientifically researched blood purifier. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, my son, there's a little story. He had a little milia. Yeah. And we didn't know this is 
10, 15 years ago, what is Milia? And so, you know, he, we were like, I said, I don't know, just have neem, right? Mm. For me, he's like, okay, any issues with your skin, whatever, have neem. So, you know, just organic Ayurvedic neem is very, very, very bitter. And he just took, uh, I think not even a week and it all cleared out. He was just shocked, you know, teenager, mm. like mom, he was literally gobsmacked. And after that, you know, he, he yeah, his neem, like once in a while, if I bring it to the table at the dinner table, he, everybody will quietly have it because it is so fantastic so this is neem uh you know neem is something you should get guys it should be in your kitchen where do you buy all this you uh, can buy it from any like, uh whole foods in america and hong hmm. kong live zero uh you can buy it from iherb oh you'll get it everywhere okay so as i said it's not so well known but trust me neem, in a year or moringa. two okay. neem, neem moringa yeah so neem is um it's a very powerful blood purifier and so when you have it in your mask you have acne you have inflammation you have even eczema uh rosacea you have it's very bitter it's very bitter yeah you can even smell it even if you smell it's it it's like, like traditional chinese medicine level bitterness <laughs> going into your throat so that's that's me all right so we did me and now i come to another one of my favorites licorice what can I, I think everybody knows that, right? Licorice is fantastic yes. for skin. I think everybody knows that. Licorice has, it's, there's a compound, a constituent called glabridin. Mm -hmm. And it is so magical for skin that is pigmented. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you have melasma and cloasma, it's not like you, you know, cloasma can completely go away. But definitely, you know, you'll find that it fades pigmentation, it brightens skin. Uh, see, kojic acid is mm. also very well known and licorice, you know. Okay. So uh, this is called Yashti Madhu and it's a very famous Ayurvedic herb um, used very often for, you know, when you have acne skin and you, you basically it just in Ayurveda, that's called a Varnya. That means gives luster to skin and is complexion enhancing. Mm. So that's licorice. So I'm going to again take a spoonful of this and put it in the bowl. So that's what we have. And now I am going to, I'm going to add a bit more of uh, clay because I didn't add enough. So I'm taking a bit more. And now the time, oh, it's very sweet. So you yeah. can take chopped dried coconut strips, you can take some dates, chop them up, you can take licorice, you know, uh, it, it normally comes as a stick and it's a, a post digestive, it's fantastic for mm -hmm. your for your digestive system. I mean, we grew up having that and perhaps a little bit of almonds and cashew nuts as well, is yeah. to go and keep, you know, take like eat like a whole bowl of it. So here we are. And now, what are we going to put guys? What did we start with? Uh, honey honey so we're going to put honey now it's a little difficult to show you what i'm doing because this bowl is a bit deep yeah i can hold it up for you so we can show it to you guys i'm going to put in honey all right i'm putting a nice spoonful i'm going to use the same thing to mix with okay. and then i'm going to use milk milk has lactic acid Milk is fantastic for all skin types, skin concerns. Uh, so milk is fantastic for skin. So I'm going to add milk to it because all those powders in the clays, we can't do butters today because we're not doing a bare marie, but I will, you know, put some milk in it and we're going to make something which we can eat as well. A nice little smoothie. So I'm going to stir it. Oh, I wish I'd taken a lower bowl you know to show you you know what i'm gonna yeah. do i'm going to do this so that you can actually see it so please bear with i'm going to show you what exactly we're doing and you can use okay i'm using a metal spoon naughty of me shouldn't but it's a pretty spoon so i used it uh, why no metal because remember heavy metal toxins so mm. don't let the clay take you know it's it's taking away from the spoon so to speak you want it to work on your skin so try and keep away from any metals when you're making as a general rule of thumb just don't use metal or whatever use gla uh, glass use ceramic use wood 
uh, yeah. So here you go. I think you may be able to see. Are we able to see? Okay, there you go. So you know, I'm we're mixing it, and mm, nice. So the consistency is more up to your preference, right? Whether you uh, want yeah, you want it creamy or... and yeah, you know, creamy. And look at that, how quickly it's you know, it's just how very quickly it's happened, you know. So yeah, you mix it till it's nice and homogenized, and you can apply it on your skin. You know? Now, so long as you don't have any water, there is no contact with water, you're totally fine. You can keep this for six months. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can just now, put it in the fridge, but the yeah, milk wouldn't but go bad. Is, exactly. So you can keep it in the fridge for four days mm. and you finish using it. Yeah. So you can't uh, keep it for too long because, uh, you know, bacterial contamination, yeast, fungus, mold, all of the above. Uh, so yeah, this is so beautiful. Okay. It literally was I'll like three it seconds. On. Yes. Let's no, try it on. Creamy and smooth and fantastic for skin. How long would you leave it on? Oh, because this is honey, you can leave it on for half an hour. You don't need to worry about your skin getting dry. So there you and go. And none of this um, herbs... Uh, would stain the skin dry. You no, know not how, like turmeric. If you not leave it too long, then you like yeah, end up yellow. Too. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah. No. So mm -hmm. yeah, and you know, so, so smells very grassy. You can always, uh, if you want, you can use some essential oils. You know, a few drops of your favorite essential oil. That too is a nice idea. It yes. just smells so nice. Yes. So cooling. So cooling. So soothing. So you know yeah just everything that your skin needs it's like feeding your skin you know remember your skin is eating mm -hmm. uh, whenever you are applying a mask or whatever it is you're doing with your skin mm -hmm. and you know masking is also about uh, you know we today is like me time and self-care but it's really about celebrating mm -hmm. you know the skin you are in just taking yeah. that time out for yourself and yeah it's almost yeah. like meditation right that's right yeah. that's right yeah. so you have to have the patience you put the ingredients together put it on leave and it you know do it with minutes. friends i mean do it with your with your daughters and sisters and partners and because uh it's just this way of bonding and especially in lockdown you know sharing and bonding yes. and you know it's just lovely it's lovely very nice so yeah and as i said this is you know how when we make it that's so a quick hand, version yeah for lazy is, people yeah and of course look what i made there was a few things this has like too many other things in it uh it has beautiful oils it has butters it has um essential oils as well yeah it's just it's just luxury you know so so that's that's the mask and i thought today we mm -hmm. could also do the Guan Sha. We could do a Gua Sha. Oh, yes. I like love your Guan Sha. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I love that. I, that it really detoxes. Like, I can see sometimes where I'm really, like, kind of, yeah. like, it would go black. My skin would yeah. go black. And yes. you can wipe off the toxins. Yes, you can literally, like, mascara. An amazing product. Yeah. Um, so, the thing with through. my Guan Sha is, so, here, we can move on to the quan right. sha you can see yeah. right. oh yeah. No? yeah 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 i don't know if you can see it yes much brighter left or right yeah. guys very nice <laughs> no but seriously look yes 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 Isn't so it? much brighter right yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. hydrated thanks and the honey yeah so, so, so god nice. i'm myself quite upset like look at that that's yes. yours Right? Yes. It will save this for later. Yes. Not waste it. We won't waste it. So um, I thought we really should. Um, yes, we want yeah, to share this. Yeah, also because it is, um, uh, you know, it's authentic. It's the only. So I, it's taken me three years again to do this. Uh, this is a gua sha tool, all right? So it looks like your rose quartz, jade, uh, uh, what's the other one from Talian Mountains? The black colored bianstone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, you don't get 
authentic jade and authentic beyond stone. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay, so those, right? Now, what's special about this one? Uh, it is this metal. So it's in the shape of a gua sha tool, but it's the metal. And I have, and this is, it just has killed me to get it to this, this level of imperfection. You'll never get perfection in this because it's entirely handcrafted. It's sand cast. It is, and these artisans are slowly not willing to do this kind of work. So I don't even know if in years to come, you'll be able to get something made like this. Besides it's an alloy, mm -hmm. it's an alloy of copper and tin. And so it's not like you can buy the metal and die cut it and you cannot make it in a machine. It has to be done by hand um in a in, in a furnace and there are these very special kasaras who do it you know nobody else knows how to do it so what's so special about it is so it's i have patented it it is a patent pending mm -hmm. invention uh so i feel pretty cool about that <laughs> and um what it, why i decided you know so i always wanted to when i was a little girl you know if i had a tummy ache my grandmother would take a bowl mm. i have my bowl there so she would take a casa bowl and put mustard hot mustard seed oil in it and rub it and i distinctly remember this you know rubbing my tummy with it and my tummy would feel very calm mm. and my father would make me rub it, the soles of his feet mm -hmm. with a little bowl made of this metal and I never sort of, but now when I cast my mind back, I remember, oh, why, you know, and I'm, and I'm writing a book. So I'm writing about all these lost, lost um, recipes wisdom. and wisdom and indigenous knowledge and traditions mm -hmm. and, you know, so then when I'm casting my mind back, I'm saying, okay, why, you know, what is it about this metal? And then I said, okay, you know, I'm going to use this alloy to make a tool for facial mm -hmm. uh, massage. And so of course it's a gua sha tool. So copper, uh, again, I don't know if people know enough about copper, mm -hmm. but especially, and I've talked a lot about it in COVID times. So copper is antiviral. Now we can talk about antibacterial and anti-inflammatory and anti-infection, but virus, viral. Mm -hmm. So in France too, there were some studies done in the 18th century and um, copper is antiviral, you know? So in these times, especially, it's very, very good for us. Um, in fact, I was thinking of making a copper mask, you know, but I don't know, that's too much too. Uh, but honestly, according to me, hospitals and places should have these copper things where you, you know, kind of should yeah. be touching copper. But anyway, Kansa, this bronze metal is the ideal metal to eat in and to cook in, you know? Oh. So it's expensive and it's very, very heavy. So, you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, you should. Uh, but it's so luxurious. I love it from all the guasas yeah. that are out there in the market. This one is just kind of like a little yeah. gold nugget. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's solid. And if you find any fakes in the market and, you know, I mean, people are trying to knock off that, you know, those are not original. Nobody else can make this. Mm -hmm. It's my patent uh, pending registration. So now let's see what this does. Now I've been pretty good over the Easter holidays. I don't know if you'll be able to see all that scary no, toxin coming no. out. But first we'll try and do it on the hand. So for me, I use the phone a lot, you know, so I get it here. I don't know if I'll get it on my face. Normally I don't, but I'm just gonna, yeah. No, I'm good. Otherwise by now you'd see black mascara coming out of my, hand but it's not it's not too bad that's not too bad right? oh mine is turning a little bit black oh Let's, yours is yes oh yeah yeah that yeah. did you used to have it no no the previous time is oh okay no mm -hmm. i don't know you see the black here on the yeah. hand versus but, here it's magical yeah. well like hail i mean <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, that that's that's mine, and you can wipe it off, you know. Uh, so for me, I know I get where off. my pain points are, literally. And so if you wipe it off, it literally comes off like that. It's pretty insane, you know. That's how it Ooh. comes off. Yes. Look, yeah. Look how black this is. It's yeah. See, you know, so a lot of people, you don't go red with it, you know. Of course, if you're doing it proper, like cuts up in the back, yeah. Some of my clients, you know, they get all red. But otherwise, it's this black thing. So a lot of uh, when when you so I have you know our brand ambassador Debbie at Lane Crawford, right? She literally has to just touch it like this, and she gets this black welt. <laughs> and so some people when they've seen the video, yeah, they're like, "It's a trick." She no, it's so like she's hurt herself. She's bruised, and they're like, "No, no. magic." 
see it's come yeah, off it goes it's back come off. normal yeah and it just comes back to normal so we you know what i wanted to do was mm. show you um some ways that you can actually restructure remodel mm. your your face you know like me with age there's you know puffiness and edema and there's so so much toxin build up just yeah, like yeah. you know in my hips i have so much toxin build up and cellulite you have a lot and we talk a lot you know so you have a lot of stress that you accumulate yeah. in your cheeks so this is a perfect way to really you know to de-stress this black thing, this black suit, it is in Ayurveda. Um, we call for pitta, pitta mm -hmm. heat, you know, heat. Yeah. So it draws out heat, you know, and we all know that um, heat basically, you know, increases toxicity. For you, so okay. it draws out heat, it draws out acidity. Mm -hmm. uh, and honestly, I don't think anybody, unless some sages here sitting in the Himalayan mountains really understands what this is doing and how and how and you talk about chakras and but exactly how is it working on our body on mm. our chi on our prana we really don't know but one thing we know is this is this is wisdom passed to us from generations and millennia so for me i have that faith in it mm -hmm. and i completely you know respect and i take it as a blessing yeah you know yeah. So, um, and it works. That's the thing, right? Yeah, it's you know, one of those yeah. things that, oh, you have to believe in it. And, and so many actually, you just, you just see it, right? So, you and know, so many customers will come and say, oh, I saw her uh, with, with, you know, it was a black, but mine is not black. So we're like, but that's good for you. Yeah, <laughs> that you is have not, no toxin. But no, I want it to be black. So, okay, let's try, so let's we try were, on the face. So what, what are your massage okay, techniques? So, so, uh, some do's and some don'ts if you have a fever if you are in uh, you know in your menstruation period if you've had some surgery if you uh, generally uh, are not feeling all right you should not massage you should not do this you should your body needs to rest so you shouldn't be doing anything anyway but don't do this either you shouldn't mask either uh, so this is generally if you're fine do it now uh, there are these different, and it comes with this nice little manual, you know, so how, how to use it and which part and, you know, it just tells you all of that. Um, and uh, not in too much detail, but enough. So what I like to do is, so for me, I really like, my jawline is pretty snatched, but it's kind of dropping. So this, you know, this part, this part of this part, you can use it to really work on this and lift. Now, of course, you can't do, you know, you'll, you need to have oil, right? And before your oil, for me, you know, to help the lipids penetrate and absorb better into skin, I always, for me, misting my mists mm. are like a sandwich in between, after, before, and throughout the day, you know? So this is my sambak, my sambak, uh, if you can see it mm. uh there is sambak and there's rose that's five rose and we have them all at you know the counter the lane for offer and so sambak has blue lotus and it's jasmine. oh it's beautiful it's jasmine so I love the smell yeah and so always i like to mist and then put the oil and be generous with your oil because you are doing a facial and your skin is eating so and you'll be amazed how your skin eats it all up so I have customers always saying, you know, no, no, my skin is oily. And I said, trust me. And then they put all this and then, and they're like, oh, the oil's all gone. Can I try the So the rose, yeah. And all these are ingestible. So you can use it in your gin tonic. All right, guys. I mean, Jasmine goes beautifully with gin tonic. I think so. So uh, the Illumin. This is one of our best sellers. I mean, this... So we've won the Vogue Award for the Mitti and we've won the Harper's Bazaar Award for this. And I think this was nominated for the L Global, you know, yeah. um, this was nominated. Uh, right, so the Illumin, the Illumin is made of hemp. So it's fantastic for uh, acne skin as well because it's got a perfect omega ratio. It's non-comedogenic. And it also has apricot oil, which is, it's, it's like my, desert island you know so um it's got it's got beautiful oils 
And so I'm going to take enough for one side and I'm going to show you. So I've missed, missed my face and I'm going to just, you know, apply the oil here. So you really want to massage the oil in, right? And, uh, you know, so massaging the oil in. And then I'm going to start the kwa sha. I don't know if you, you do this. See. How often do you do the kwa sha? Oh, sometimes every night for an hour. Oh, wow. And sometimes. So dedicated. Oh, I love this. And sometimes, but yeah, I'm, I'm upset. I'm, I'm like addicted to it. I'm addicted yeah. to it, you know? It's really nice as well, no? Yeah. It's the rose. It's a very special rose. It's from a very, it's a family of five up in the Himalayan mountains. They only do in a wood fired, you know, they only, it's a small distillery. They only do Rosa Damasena. That's all they do. My Rosa Damasena, mm -hmm. uh, the hydrosol comes from them as well, is like super, super, super precious. Super precious. That's all they do the entire year. And you have to wait. You literally have to beg and wait. You know, like, please, I'm waiting. Right. So I have put some oil. All right. Now I'm going to show you how I do the kwasha. So uh, I take this, this groove. And then I start from here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I use my other hand to stabilize my skin and the muscular. So it doesn't stretch. Right. Yeah. And then, and I go this way. Okay, and then it's like my little, my other side, my fingers kind of follow, following in footsteps. So they just follow, and then I go. And now for me, I am very, very deep and very, I really go deep. Mm. Uh, but you please be careful. I don't want you, you know, um, uh, just just build up, you know, build up as you would like to. So here, so this is how I go. Can, I don't know if it's. With you too, I can hear kind of like cracking. Up yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. All the yeah, yeah, yeah. all the, no? the the fashion. Yeah. Especially like yeah, 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 yeah. So here, yeah, so you know, so this is how I go, and you know, so I do that. And I go up that now. When I go up here, mm -hmm. now I'm going to talk a little bit about marma. Marma means secret energetic pathways. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what I like to do is I just like to you know go there and uh, give it a little bit of uh, now there are marma points you know I think it's called utshepa there are marma points here as well now we know the lymphatic drainage mm -hmm. works from here right yeah so what I like to do is I like to go down and look at this groove it works perfectly well so mm -hmm. you start from here and then here I like to go down this way right and also remember, just for the people who also know who, who do yoga, your muscles have to be soft and relaxed and ready to receive. If you're going to be tight, then you're going to just get external no results. So you have to be soft and receptive, yeah? Just ready. And so like, if I do this, I'm not gonna get much result, but if I'm just very soft, wow. I mean, wow, you know? And so you can go all the way there. Now, I know uh, there are many methods that start from the back. I don't. That's up to you. So relaxing but, already. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I turn off my lights. I'm in bed. I'm totally ready. You know, I'm yeah. blind, but I know where my things are, my oil. And then, oh, my God, I'm semi-propped up. And I go to town for an hour. And then I sleep. And then it's like having had CBD. You know, it's the best yeah. sleep of your life. It's so good. So I do this, right? I have any products with CBD. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's I was going to say, it's, it's like I super combo. CBD and my balm, I'm going to have 24 karat gold in it. Gold flake, mm. 24 karat gold flakes in it. Oh, it's going to be. And with sandalwood, which is critically endangered, but we're working with the government for ethically sourced Indian Mysore sandalwood, which you cannot get outside of India. You cannot even get it in India, actually. So, right, so this is one thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I forget those science anatomical names of the muscles, but I think it's called um, Ricosa something. So th this is called the depressor, I know for sure, mm -hmm. because, you know, if your mouth is downturned, you look depressed. But, you know, this is called the depressor muscle. And, you know, with age, you know, it's this, these nasal labial folds and this. Yeah. So you want to really work on this. So I like to use this side of the groove, Mm -hmm. right and so I like to work so this this part I like to the nasal labial folds I like to do this mm -hmm. you know 
in the groove and then I just go this way. And again, you see. And so I'm lifting, you know, and I'm lifting. And when I reach the end, I just like to, you Rub know, the marma, yeah, you know, that way. So again here. And of course, your kwa sha has to be at a little angle, not, not that way. Look, once you're an expert in it, you do what you want with it, right? <laughs> So once you know your ABCDs, you can construct mm. any kind of sentences you like. Uh, so, you know, this way, but maybe a little at an angle, and then, you know, you do that. Then I like to do my eyes. I mm. love to do my eyes, and I love to take this side of it. This is one of my favorite uh, parts of my massage, you know, because my eyes are always tired. So I like to take this. Now I don't mm -hmm. have, I have makeup and I don't have oil on my eyes, but I'll just demonstrate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this group, it fits, it fits perfectly into your, you know, into yeah, your uh, eye socket. Eye socket. And then you just, of course, you need to have a lot of oil and then you just go, you know, this way. And you don't need to have your hands falling mm -hmm. because there are no, you know, sort of muscles to, to mm -hmm. the, the, the movement. And you just go as gentle or as firm and as deep diving as you want into it. Wow. It's really wow. Mm -hmm. And then here, so, okay. you know, you do this. Again, mm -hmm. I don't have oil. So, you know, you do this. You can do it this way. Um, forehead up and down for all those uh, forehead lines, right? And now I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to talk to you maybe three marma points. Marma points are, um, they're actually areas. They are not like acupuncture mm -hmm. points, you know. Those are points, these are areas. And the areas are depicted in Ayurveda by finger widths, you know, so four finger widths, two finger widths, etc., etc. So you start with the top, the Adipati. Mm -hmm. And how you do it is, so four fingers. And each of us has our elbows and fingers. It's all, you know, God has made us all very well uh, proportioned. proportioned. Yeah. So your four fingers are good for you and my for four my, fingers. For your own head. Yeah. Yeah. So you take four and you start from uh, this third eye area, mm -hmm. the eyebrow. You take four. Okay. And then four more. And the crown of your head, you touch that. That is your Adipati. That is the overlord. So the two hands. Yeah. Four and four. Okay. And then here, right in the center. Yes. Okay. Now that is the overlord. So what you do is again, you should oil it, you know, I will talk later on about oiling the head. So, you know, you oil it and then you take, I mean, whichever point you want. Mm -hmm. And then you go, uh, I like to go nine times clockwise, nine times anti-clockwise in that area, you know? So you might think, mm, yeah, okay, I'm just doing that. But believe me, the effects are pretty pretty deep it's really it meant to be like relaxing or um you don't really feel anything because energized? it is so uh it depends it depends what your body needs at that time yeah. does your body need to be energized or your body needs to be calmed down mm -hmm. it'll do what you know it's it's by balance yeah 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 so that's the point that's one point mm -hmm. and then uh you have this the agnya you know this is one point uh, again, here you can put some oil and then you go, you know, so I'll, I like to go like with this part of it and then I like to just go this way, you know, so nine times clockwise, nine times anti-clockwise, take your time, you know, close your eyes, this is your third eye and uh, visualize whenever you're doing all of this. You know, I'm a yoga teacher and if I was born to do something, I think I was born to teach yoga. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm pretty good at, you know, teaching yoga, if I may say so myself. And, you know, yoga is a high-tech space science. Within us are empty spaces. It's all about, you know, being able to, um, so even if you have heart disease, it's that space, right, which is clogged with atherosclerosis, clogged mm -hmm. with plaque. Um, all these empty spaces in the body, it's really important uh, that you know they remain empty you yeah. know that there's no clogging and no no like whether there's a digestive system whether it's your mouth whether it's whichever you know the empty spaces in your even your cells have you know empty space so when you are doing any of such uh, uh, especially in skincare even if you're slapping on your serum mm. you know take that one minute and visualize visualize you know i like to visualize i teach my students to visualize all these empty spaces 
and the space surrounding your personal space, you know, mm -hmm. vibrating with this golden light, mm -hmm. you know, this golden light. So take that one minute if you're doing whatever and, and you know, do that. Um, so, so the eyes and this. So now when you, when you talk on marma mm -hmm. points, you do this one, you do this one. Now this is called fana. Pan. Fana is the serpent's hood because mm -hmm. this looks like a serpent. So again, you can do this, you know, here nine times. Now I have the luxury of having two washa. So I take two and I do it, mm -hmm. you know. So you do nine times clockwise, anti-clockwise. You can do it at the outer edge of your eye, right? Again, nine times clockwise. It, it's supposed to be, there is this, there are two here, but it's, it's just at the edge, the outer corner of your eye, right? Um, and then you can do the middle, of your mouth here, you can do the sides, you can do the bottom here. Um, and what I think is important because there's so much toxin buildup in us is you can do the one below the ear because that again is connected to your lymphatic drainage, right? And for me, so I know somebody ear. who said her eyebrows really, I mean, it's very painful for me, no, but for me, this, oh mm. my God. And my cheeks, this, oh my God. Mm. Do, you, do you do you feel pain here? No, I feel more right pain here. If you if you hear, if I do this, yeah, yeah, you do a little bit. Mine is like what oof. is it? Oh uh, well, a lot like of stress. tension from the yeah. the jaw. Just like our shoulders, you know, you yeah. you hold you hold tension. We hold different people hold tension in different places. Mm. I know that, I, and I also talk a lot, as you can see. So, you know, mm. <laughs> Sorry. so here we are with the kwasha. Wonderful. Um, right. So now, um, so I don't know if we, um, I if I've shown you enough, a little bit of a point. Yes, like I'd love all the, the, the massage techniques and all the marma points. Yeah. I find that fascinating about Ayurveda. Um, then we will pass soon to the Q and A. Um, I, am, I have a, cust a, a question from a customer. Yeah. Like, which is your favorite product right now? From, right I mean, because you now. Have a, you have yeah. a really big assortment. I have to say like, you know, for a small brand right. that right. started uh, not too long ago, you yeah. have a wide range, right? Uh, um, yes. So if you so, had to pick one, which one would you pick? Well, my current... Uh, my new baby, my new drop is the Keisha hair oil. Okay. And it's been two years in the making. I somehow never, it didn't occur to me to put out a, a hair product. I don't know why. And I didn't want to do shampoo and conditioners because of surfactants, you know, okay. so I'm not sure about how clean or green they can be. But I realized with me, you know, that my hair was losing its, uh, its uh, health. Mm -hmm. And so many people asking me, you know, oh, do you do hair? And I was like, no, I don't. And then I said, no, I think I should. And so I, I knew what I wanted in my hair oil, obviously, because I've studied Ayurveda. Uh, but, uh, you know, typically if you have hair oils, mm -hmm. uh, Ayurvedic hair oils, they look brown, brown, mm -hmm. you know, the sea, like, and gutter, like gutter yeah. water. And they smell also very, very strong, bitter, you know, pungent. Because by, by definition, Ayurvedic herbs are, for them to work, they have, nature has made them this way, you know. It's called Ushna in Ayurveda, which means hot. And, uh, you know, seeds, for them to germinate, they need heat. Mm. So if you want something to work on your hair follicles, you want your something to work on your acne and infl inflammation, uh, you know, those products have to have heat, but also be, you know, there has to be a balance with yeah. cooling uh, uh, herbs. I mean, very similar to traditional Chinese medicine, yes, right? Like absolutely. ginger. Ginger is supposed to be kind of like the cure for everything. You exactly. Have like the sort of ginger. Yeah. Ginger, garlic, <laughs> yeah. you know? So this is the thing. So I, I was like, oh, anyway, so it's launched. We have it at Lean Crawford. And, uh, and here it is. It's called Kesha. Kesha means hair, you know? Kesha means hair. Uh, this actually on the back of the box, it has a mantra. Mm -hmm. It has a mantra uh, and the mantra, uh, it's a very powerful mantra, Devi mantra. And many, many, many people have reported, um, have reported their hair growing long and strong. And some people, some woman reported that one hair started growing on her back. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, you know, there's this one. So 
you okay. know but it's it's about the faith I, I believe in mantras you know i think om is the primordial sound everything vibrates even rocks vibrate to that mm. sound so it's a beautiful mantra i believe in it um now this oil so this oil has very special ingredients uh first i want to show you what it looks like the color um we had a little, we had a little ball, bowl right? but maybe we took it away yeah we need a bowl you can use it yeah i can use that so it is a gorgeous gorgeous pretty mm. neon pink and that's the secret of the oil it's one of those ingredients so i can just oops pour it and you can see it is so pretty um how do we show it here tilt it a little bit more like that <laughs> hard to see? show you oh i have this little mother of pearl spoon so mm. maybe you know there you go it's such a beautiful color it is natural yeah, it's like ruby red yeah it's like you said i don't know this bubblegum pink i don't know yeah so so it's this this very very beautiful color it's a very beautiful oil and uh smells beautiful because it has sambac jasmine which is also good for hair it has rosemary also good for hair it has lavender which is also good I for i love the smell yeah it's very summery and and it smells like a summer holiday yeah, right like yeah. a like a fancy yeah. resort product so you know ayurvedic herbs are very hard to work with uh, especially in oils especially hair oils so i'm going to show you some of the herbs that we work with which have so for example this is chatamansi it's one of the one of the herbs that we use uh, and it smells beautiful that chatamansi it is powerful to arrest premature graying uh, hair loss hair fall thinning of hair and of course the oils in it there is castor oil in it there is uh, coconut oil in it all oils that are very very good for hair and there are these herbs and we solar infuse macerate these herbs in house in our own studio you know they're not bought bought from anywhere then you have this this is actually you know what this this is called musta it's mm -hmm. in ayurveda it's called gold for skin it's fantastic for your scalp mm -hmm. i've never used any skin care product but uh, uh, musta it's called nagarmotha fantastic for hair fantastic for hair and scalp uh then you know we have amlaki we we have there are, you know this kalonji i'll show you how do you nigella nigella seeds you know nigella seeds very very good for hair all very well known for hair so these herbs you know when you it's a combination like i said of hot mm -hmm. and cooling and pacifying herbs so they will if you have dandruff if you have um irritated itchy scalp mm. if you have a congestion you know keep getting oily your yeah. hair is oily all the time because you have a congested scalp and your uh, uh, hair follicles or sebum is blocked so this is going to clear all of that so it's going to nourish but at the same time it's actually going to clear you know um bring scalp help mm -hmm. and look all these herbs scientifically proven and shown to grow hair long and strong so apply and on the roots apply or also to the on, roots. The, on the length of yes. the hair yes so right? i love to sell show you know today i have not put i waited for this i've not put any i'm just taking you know a few drops and it's just so pretty and smells good so i love to use it as a serum as a hair serum um Just give it so on nice. Rice. Yeah, it's just so nice, right? So 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 nice. Yeah. Right, and it's so light. It's not going to make your hair oily. Um. So yeah. So this is this is um how I love to use it. Uh, yeah. Whenever I wash my hair, even when I don't wash my hair, it's just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And when you're going For to beach days, right? When your hair is yes. getting all tangled, yes, the rain, yeah, yeah, applying a little bit of this oil, yeah, so luxurious. It's it's beautiful and it look you know it it works you know these herbs do work they work wonders for your hair so um, how often would you recommend to use the hair oil uh, you know if you have premature graying so premature graying would be like if you're you know under thirty something and you've got the shock of white hair you're getting white hair I personally when I was twenty three I reversed my uh, premature graying of some hair. 
So you literally had this hair strand mm. and this was black and this was white. No, oh, okay. you know, so it works. Um, so you, you have to, um, uh, you, okay. So when you're massaging your hair, warm it up, don't make it hot, mm. just warm it enough. And I like to use my fingers, you know, uh, yeah. Don't waste the oil in a, with a cotton yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. use your fingers and really go to town with your scalp, you know, and really stimulate your scalp. And you can then take sections, you know, you go from the back zigzag. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is, this is called like the chumpy, you know, the, uh, the, the famous Indian head massage. So you take sections, right? Mm -hmm. And you oil it and then you just twist and you pull. You know? oh, okay. So that stimulates your hair follicles. You know, you just pull like that, you take sections and you oil your oil your okay. scalp. So it's look, it's all about scalp health. You know, and if your scalp is healthy, uh -huh. the roots are healthy. It, huh? Oh, overnight. Really? And this oil is not stained. Yeah, yeah. You sleep like a baby. In fact, sorry, okay. I did not even mention, I was just mentioning external beauty uh results. This is very cooling, not just for your scalp, but your brain. So if you can't sleep, you have, if you have anxiety, you have insomnia, you are studying, you, you know, concentration, cognition, memory, uh, this oil will help with that too, you know? Okay. So massage your scalp with it and it's going to help you, you know, in, in, uh, at a deeper level as well. It, it soothes the nervous system as well. It just yeah. helps, you know, calm and, and, uh, Balance you I have up. another question from a participant. They're asking um, if you're going to launch like the Guangsha for the face, something for the head or for the body. So this is, I will, uh, in a different shape, but this you can use on your feet. You can use it anywhere you like and you can share it with your family members. It's not like a toothbrush. You can mm -hmm. share it because you just sterilize it, no problem. And you can, 400 years later, your, I don't know, great, 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 child is still going to be able to use it because it's an heirloom it's a modern heirloom piece so mm. this is something you need to have in your and you can use future. it for your head i imagine right? absolutely yes, yes. oh absolutely you know you you take this part of it you know and you massage with the oil with the kesha the kesha and the kwasha yeah it's truly i mean do it and then tell me how you sleep you know okay. Lucia, you do it and tell me how you sleep Yes, we'll do. Um, do we have other questions from other participants? No? Okay. All right. Well, I think that comes to an end, but thank you so much. Thank Kavita. you. This was fun. It was, yes, it was so nice to hear all your wisdom. I always feel mm -hmm. so captivated by, you know, the world of Ayurveda mm -hmm. and all these beauty secrets. So I hope you all enjoyed our session today and we'll be seeing you soon for more beauty tricks. Thank you.